Hello friends, welcome to this exercise on how to measure field and armature winding resistance in DC machines. At the end of this video, you will be able to read and interpret the nameplate details of a DC machine, test and identify the terminals of a DC machine, measure the shunt field resistance of a DC machine by the voltmeter, ammeter and ohmmeter method and compare the results. Measure and verify armature resistance by using a voltmeter, ammeter and ohmmeter method. Let us collect the equipment and materials to do this exercise. Screwdriver, insulated combination pliers, double ended spanner set, moving coil voltmeter 0 to 25 volts, moving coil ammeter 0 to 100 milliampere, series or shunt type ohmmeter 0 to 50 ohms, moving coil ammeter 0 to 5 amperes, moving coil voltmeter 0 to 500 volts, battery 24 volts, battery 6 volts, rheostat 250 ohms 1 ampere, DC compound machine. Rheostat 10 ohms 5 ampere PVC insulated copper cable Crocodile clips test lamp Read and interpret the nameplate details of a DC machine Note down the nameplate details of the given machine in the tabulation Remove the terminal cover of the DC machine Use proper tools and avoid damage to the screw heads Keep the screws in a tray Place the multimeter probes between any two pairs of terminals among the four terminals and identify the pair of windings where a beep sound occurs in the multimeter. After finding the pairs, set the multimeter to low resistance mode and place the terminals between the pairs. Low resistant pairs are amateur terminals and high resistance values are shunt field windings. Measure the shunt field resistance by the voltmeter and ammeter method. Connect the positive terminal of the battery to the input of the rheostat through switch S1. From the rheostat output, connect to the positive terminal of the moving coil ammeter. Then, the negative terminal to shunt field winding E1. Then, connect E2 to the negative terminal of the battery. Connect the moving coil voltmeter parallel to the circuit with the correct polarity. Switch on the circuit by closing the switch S1 and adjusting the rheostat to get 20 milliampere in the ammeter. Read and record the voltmeter and milliammeter readings in tabulation. Set the ammeter for different values like 40, 60, 80 and 100 milliamps by varying the rheostat. Note the voltmeter readings in the table. Switch off the circuit and calculate the resistance value R by substituting the voltage and current in the formula R is equal to V by I. You can also measure the voltage and current and calculate the resistance value by directly applying a 220 volt DC power supply to the shunt field winding as shown in the circuit diagram. Measurement of shunt field resistance using an ohm meter. Take a series type ohm meter or multimeter. Select a proper ohmic range and set its value to appropriate range. Use a series type ohm meter to measure high value resistance. Connect the meter leads to the shunt field terminals of the machine as shown in the diagram. Read and record the value of the shunt field resistance below. The value of the shunt field resistance is 200 ohms. Compare the readings with measurements done with the voltmeter and ammeter methods. Measure the armature resistance using a voltmeter and ammeter. Connect a 6 volt battery, switch S1, rheostat, moving coil ammeter, all in series with the armature terminal A1 and A2 with the correct polarity shown in the circuit diagram. Connect the moving coil voltmeter parallel to the circuit with the correct polarity shown in the circuit diagram. Ensure the rheostat is kept in maximum position and switch on the circuit by closing the switch S1. Sometimes the armature starts rotating slowly during the experiment. In such cases, hold the armature 
in a steady position by hand to avoid erroneous reading. Set the reading of the ammeter to 0.5 amperes by adjusting the rheostat, that is, decreasing the resistance. Rotate the armature to different positions by hand and see that the readings remain constant. Gradually decrease the resistance in the rheostat. Set the ammeter readings to different values like 1, 1.5, 2, and 2.5 amperes. Note the voltmeter readings in the table and calculate the resistance by substituting the corresponding values of volt and current in the formula R is equal to V by R. I. Switch off the circuit and find the average value of the armature resistance. Measure armature resistance using an ohmmeter. Connect the ohmmeter or multimeter across the armature terminals and measure the resistance. Use a shunt type ohmmeter to measure the low value resistance of the armature. Move the armature to different positions by hand and see that the reading remains constant. Note down the meter reading and record it below. Armature resistance value is 0.5 ohms. Compare the readings with measurement done with voltmeter and ammeter method. I hope after watching this video, you will be able to read and interpret the nameplate details of a DC machine, test and identify the terminals of a DC machine, measure the shunt field resistance of a DC machine by the voltmeter, ammeter and ohmmeter method and compare the results, measure and verify armature resistance by using a voltmeter, ammeter and ohmmeter method. This concludes the exercise on measuring field and armature resistance in DC machines. See you in the next exercise.